Hey, Dr. So here for Doc Sports, and today is Monday, June the 10th, and I'm back with more free plays. And the free plays didn't do so well over the weekend, at least for me. Okay, so just look to get that corrected starting today. West Coast Wise Guys had a winner on Saturday. So we'll see if, like I said, myself personally, if I can get that corrected. If not, nobody, I, I don't think anybody should complain about being 37 and 24. But hey, you know what? That's that's the way that goes. And West Coast Wise Guys, 31 and 15. Whew, still do, doing better than two thirds on free play. So that's outstanding. So today, hey, pretty light day today. Passed on baseball. Still have an excellent streak going, but we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But just one play, going with hockey. And today I have a seven-unit best bet going in hockey today. That's right, seven-unit for game two. I have won six straight hockey games in the playoffs. And uh, as many of you know, I have done extremely well in best bets at 29 and 16 in the last 45, uh, 64%, and good for a profit of $6,300. So a seven-unit best bet flies today in the hockey. All right, so, so we have that. Subscribe to this particular channel if you have not at Doc Sports, so you can set yourself up. I just gave you my records as to what uh, what I put out daily or six days a week for you, uh, typically. And so check, sign up today, get yourself uh, get yourself going, and then while you're once you've done that, completed that task. Okay, I'm assigning you a task to do if you have not signed up. So complete that task, and after you do that, go into your settings and see that alert bell. Click on that, and then you are set to where the picks will come directly to you, and you'll be notified how you choose to be notified, and then you can check them out whenever you like from there. All right, so that's what I got for today. All right, let's talk some baseball today, for me at least, talking Seattle and the Chicago White Sox. Now, looking at the two starting pitchers for the opening game of this series, um, it's kind of a bigger deal. Eric Fetty has a 3.27 ERA for the White Sox, who have won 10 of his 13 starts. That's freaking amazing. He's been their best pitcher in that regard all year in terms of victories in particular. On the road, though, Fetty not as good. Okay, His ERA jumps over five, despite the fact that Chicago has won five of those seven uh, starts. Logan Gilbert was, is going to go today for Seattle. He's got a 3-1-2 ERA. He's got a losing record. And all you have to do is look how many runs Seattle has scored in his starts. That explains it all right there. White Sox bullpen is in tatters. They blew another game yesterday. They blew two against the Cubs early in the week, and this just is the continuation. They just don't have any support in that bullpen, and frankly, I'm not even sure how many major league true pitchers that they have in that bullpen. Uh, so if if they're uh, if the Mariners are going to have a breakout game, okay, and to and support their pitcher, this should be the one, and because they can do some definite damage. And also, don't forget that this weekend Seattle scored 19 runs, even though they have problems. They scored 19 runs in Kansas City, with uh, the White Sox, 5-15 and 15 against the run line after a loss by two runs or less. And on Mondays, the last two, year, two, last two seasons, 4-17. and 17, and, I, and you might ask, well, so what? It's a Monday. What's the big deal? Well, Mondays are mostly when you find out uh, is the – I should say Monday is when the opening game of the series is, and that's how poor that they've been, 5-15 and 15 against the run line. So I'm going to say Seattle covers the run line in the series opener tonight against the Chicago White Sox. So there, it's right there for you. Uh, again, seven-unit best bet in the NHL tonight between Edmonton at Florida. This should be an outstanding game, but I definitely am on one side on this one. Like it a lot. See what we can do. Okay, uh, West Coast Wise Guys play today is to take the over on the Toronto and Milwaukee contest. It's over eight on that one from the West Coast Wise Guys. See if they can win yet again. That's what I got. Short and sweet on a Monday. Okay, get, get it to you. And uh, have yourself a great rest of the day. And we will be back on Tuesday. And I'll have some more information and free picks for you then. Until next time, this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.